Hey guys, welcome back. This is Joe's Arctic, and today we are going to be going on a nice little adventure to try and find some new stuff. So, I hope you guys are ready. So, as you can see, hunger is something that we really are struggling with at this point. So, I've cleared out a little area here, as you can see. And what we're going to do with this is convert this over into our farming area, at least for right now. Um, eventually, we're going to have some really nice automated farming systems. For right now, it is going to be perfect for us to get our early setups going. Everyone needs an early setup. I need an early setup, so why not place one here? I've kind of cleared out a pretty good amount of area, all while trying to make this look... You know, it's daytime. Why is this thing attacking me? While trying to make this look as good as possible. Um, I hope that spider attacking me isn't something to do with the snapshot. Very weird. Also, I noticed something. If we go to options, video set settings, I have clouds turned off. I have no idea why I had them off, but I did. I think that's when I was messing around with shaders in 113. <laughs> Just kind of seeing what, what they were up to with that. But anyways, food, food, food. We have a little bit of wheat, and that's what I want to get set up. And then I think we're going to raid the village that is nearby. And we're going to take advantage of getting us some wheat. Because, honestly, bread is a very good food source if you can get it growing early on. So you can see I've kind of arranged my chest here. If you didn't know, chests can actually open up. And you can access a chest even if it has these, stair uh, these walls above it. So... You can kind of use walls as decoration to almost give it like a um, more cracked in the wall look. And also up here we have a stair. Of course, most people probably know this, but you can give these things like shelves. If you, if I wanted to, honestly, I think trap doors would probably fit this build a little bit better and plus give us some different variety. So if we made some trap doors, which is very simple to make, we can actually put trap doors under here. And that also gives it a sort of styled look um, that kind of just looks different than everything else. I honestly like this look as well. Um, you can even put trap doors on top of chests and it makes it almost look like there's sort of a, uh, a shelf on top of it. So we have our wheat. We need to make a hoe. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, I have my iron cooked up. Of course, we just got a ton of experience from that. Let's go ahead and make an iron hoe. Everyone's best friend, the Iron Hoe. There we go. And we probably also need a bucket, as we haven't made one yet. Perfect. Bucket's going to be for water. We have a shovel already. We have our hoe ready to go. It is starting to be nighttime. Oh, I do like the clouds. Like, when we kind of fade away, you can see how the clouds sort of change colors in the distance. It's kind of cool. Over what I'm going to do is go ahead and sleep. I did go ahead and place a bed here. I think that looks really nice. I think maybe having a chest in here, we can decorate this, but honestly, oh, it says there's monsters nearby. I think that's because there's a creeper right here. Bummer. We're gonna have to go around and take that creeper out and hope that that creeper doesn't destroy, that doesn't try to destroy our beautiful base that we each. What is that fuse? <laughs> that thing had a very short fuse. Wow. Okay. Um, anyways, we should be able to sleep now. Oh, yeah. Sleeping with a sword in her hand. All right. So with that done, let's go ahead and get started on this farm. Very simple. There's two different ways we can set this farm up. We can use blocks to make it so that way if we place water... It will automatically harvest the crops for us. That's probably the easiest way um, to, to get this setup going. So we need to get some sort of blocks that will retain water. And I think slabs will do, do a pretty good job uh, for this. Or stairs. Slabs are pretty good. Hmm. Actually, stairs might be a good option as well. So let's actually let's make some stairs. Let will give it a different look as well. So there we go. We have some stairs. And I kind of want to just make a little farm. And we can do that, I don't know, right here. So we'll get started by placing our stairs. 
inside here is going to be the actual wheat. I think what I might do is border this with a half, uh, like a half to slab. I say half slab, but I mean a slab. Let's go one, two, three, four, and five. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go one more and we'll kind of close this in. So we have a little area here. Very small. I don't even know. Where is he coming from? Man, we have had nothing but mob issues. I thought, honestly, being next to this, which I have torched up, would be more of an issue. But no, it's everything else that's causing the issue. It's not even not even that. And I have the up, upper area actually torched up. Kind of surprising. All right, let's grab some more cobblestone. I'm going to see what putting these on here would actually look like. So maybe having this on the interior. Gives us a nice little farming area. All right, so underneath the slab over here, we can actually add a water source and that would be one, two, three, four. So I'm going to add a water source on both sides. And this is just going to be for this particular um, farm that we're working on. I don't know. I'm just coming up with ideas. You know, maybe this isn't the best thing to do. Who knows? Um, this is the stuff that I like to experiment with. You know, seeing if maybe like, I don't know, changing up the design of stuff that people normally do every time. You know, maybe changing it up, see what we can come up with. Who knows? We may like it. Um, so yeah, we should be able to now hoe that. Plant our wheat. Perfect. And now whenever we're ready to farm this, all we need to do is place our water source in one of these corners. And I think I might set it up here. And what that will do will flood all the items and then we can just pick up the items and we're ready to go. Um, so yeah, I think I'll leave this spot open for now. Maybe like double up the slabs here. Perfect. And so, yeah, our wheat should grow over time. Let's go find some more stuff because I'm going to actually make some different farms. I just wanted to see what this one looks like. Um, and we're going to go over here. I am running out of food. Man, that is a big issue we have. Let's take that bone mill. I have killed a few skeletons, as you can already see. So let's go ahead and, and grab some of our bone. And that'll give us a good amount. So that would be, I guess we can make a bigger wheat farm if we really wanted to. But man, I am slowly but surely dying here. There we go. And I might be able to demonstrate that process of the water going through. So that way you don't have to do all of them by hand, which can kind of get tedious. All right, let's go ahead and grab some water. We'll slowly crawl over here. I should be able to place the water and you see it breaks all of it. And then I can just walk over here on the slabs, pick our water back up, and then replant. I never even have to touch the crop, so I shouldn't be stepping on it. Um, so, I think that works pretty good. Let's throw these on the side. Now, I think maybe using different materials in here would probably look a little bit better than just using cobblestone. Um, and making this larger scale also works better because I think water spreads at a pretty decent size. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's eight blocks by eight blocks in each direction. Kind of makes a diamond shape or a, uh, yeah, a diamond shape. All right. I think I had a torch over here. There we go. So I should have enough wheat now, I hope. <laughs> To make us some bread so I can eat a little bit. And then I'm, I'm just ready to go into the village. That's about it. There we go. Now we have some bread. We have some, some substance. Let's go raid those village farms and see what they got. So this is what it's all about. Now, I don't know if this one has any like actual farms in it. But this one does have some hay bales that are laying about. 
I don't know. What's a good way to harvest hay bales? Is it just by hand? I mean, I guess they're all the same break. Has all the same breaking speed. This is a lot of food right here. Um, because the hay bales can be broke down into nine uh, hay or wheat. Sorry, nine wheat a piece. And that's a stack and a half right there just out of that one. I don't know. That kind of beats having that. And I love that these these beds are automatically here. Um, so I was told by you lovely viewers in the comment section that when you ring these bells, it sends the villagers into their beds. Is that true? And where are my villagers? That's another good question. Now, I did load up a pre... I did load up a snapshot. That seems to be probably the issue. It seems the villagers have disappeared. Which is not good. Because this is the... I mean, this just ruins our village farm that was going to be over here. Um, this was heavily populated with villagers. I think maybe... Because right now I am on one point. 14.2, which is a pre-release. There is a pig inside there. But I also kind of wanted to venture a little bit. Um, is there any way, is there a crafting table in any of, any of these places? There's not. All right, so I'm going to head back. We're going to craft up some food, and then we're going to... Oh, there's a panda over there in the distance on its back. I love that. Uh, we're going to go do some adventuring, see if we can't find some more villages, maybe pull in some more loot. That's always a good thing to do right off the bat. The more goodies you can find, the better off you'll be. And like I said, when you find villages and they have wheat like this, grab it, man. That's a lot of food. That is a lot of food. So with her house right down there, we should be able to head off in this direction now. Up here in these mountains is a great place to find coal early on. Um, there's just coal all over the place, just laying everywhere. What I want to do is I just want to continue this direction away. Ooh, nice. There's like llamas over here. I want to conti continue this direction and just make our way away from here. Oh, wow. You Actually, you know what? We could probably make this travel way easier since we found a saddle early on is by grabbing ourselves a horse. There are a horse right there. And that would make our life so much easier early on. Now, the only problem is we don't have a lead. So we could potentially lose our horse and our saddle both. Um, and we don't have any horse armor, even though I think we can make horse armor. Is that correct? If so, I do want to make some horse armor. We do have enough iron. I think that would be something nice to make. Um, it still may be something that you find. I don't know. But we do have a saddle, so might as well put that to use. Let's pull out some of this. Is horse armor something you can make? I guess not. Hmm. Oh, wow. I love how they added actual black dye now. That's nice. So it seems horse armor is still something you have to find. But still, getting a horse like that early game? Life changer. It will make our travels way easier. And quicker if we get a good enough horse. All right, so let's continue. I know they're right over here. And boy, I hope these are some good horses. All right, so, and this actually gets us a, a chance to demonstrate how to actually tame these guys. Um, so we know nothing about these horses. This one looks pretty cool. Are there any more that are nearby? Just those two. Hmm. So we have a choice. We could tame both of them. To tame them, you literally just hop on. So this one has a little bit of health. It doesn't have that much health. How much health does this one have? The same. So we may be stuck with the same, uh, but what you want to do is keep, you want to keep trying to ride them over and over again, and eventually they will just enjoy the ride. <laughs> as odd as that may sound. And as soon as you see some heart particle effects, you'll know that you've tamed them. Some can take a little bit longer than others. I know eventually you'll like it. <laughs> there we go. Best friends forever. So we now can right click 
the inventory of this thing, I believe. Shift right click the inventory, open it up, and we can see how fast this thing is. So this one's not very fast at all, actually. Let's take that off. Let's tame this one, see if it's any faster. Hmm. Ow. Yep, you don't want to be in a wall. Like, beggars can't be choosy, but we might... I, I really want a faster horse. That one didn't wasn't very much faster than running. Okay, so... I think we've almost got this one tamed. Let's go into options. I thought I didn't see particles. So we got particles set to minimal. There we go. Now we can see the particle effects happening. So as you ride it, you should see hearts. If you haven't changed that setting. I think I, mine was left that way from 113. There we go. There's our hearts. Let's go ahead and slap that saddle on. Oh, this one's way faster. This one is definitely way faster. So I think this is a better choice overall. And you get that auto step up, which makes things so much better. Now, the only thing we got to do... Oh, there's some more horses over here. Um, this one's fast enough for now. If we want to... I might want to check out those later on. But there's a swamp over here. It would probably be nice if we go ahead and get some slime, or if slime would actually spawn over here. Slime does have a chance of spawning in the swampy biomes. Um, higher than the normal level that it spawns at in slime chunks. Ooh, we also found some wheat. Like I said, this is where it's all worthwhile. Like, I want this stuff. There we go. I want some wheat. I want to gather some stuff. I don't know how well this horse is going to function in water. One high deep water is fine. Any higher than that, not going to work at all. So uh, a, a good tip, before I left, right before I left my base, I did go ahead and mark my coordinates for the base. Come here, Cal. I'm sorry, but I, ne I need your food. You're a good source of food. Um, yeah, I did go ahead and mark my coordinates down, and that's just in case I ever get lost. I can always find home base. And you really want to do that. You never want to forget where your base is at, because you could easily get lost in this world. And the only way you're going to be able to find your base is by doing slash spawn. Or, actually, I don't think you can do slash spawn in vanilla. Yeah, you can. I think you can. Um, or going in and actually finding out where the spawn is for your seed and then trying to track that back. It can, it can be a long process and you don't, you just don't want to deal with that. All right. So let's go here. Looks like there's some pumpkins, but we should be able to use ax on that and it goes way faster. There we go. Ax is the preferred tool for that. So we're just going to continue through the swamp land. I do see, oh, 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 yeah, we better back up. Wow, we got a witch hut right here. So with a witch hut, I don't think there's anything particular inside the witch hut. Yeah, there's a cauldron and stuff like that. But this area spawn has a higher chance of spawning witches in the area. That is good to know. Because we could always come back here and actually make a witch farm. Which would be a good source of redstone and glowstone. So that's that's great to know that that's nearby. I did not get that lucky in 113. Um, I had to search, search, search for everything. Alright. Let's pop over here. I will take all the sugar cane I can get. Just makes it quicker to farm it up. And we're going to continue. So I was just making my way through and I, I stumbled upon this new flower. This is a new species of flower, corn flower, which gives us blue dye, not lapis, actual blue dye. Very intriguing. Like that's, I like that flower. That's actually a really pretty looking flower. I do notice there are more of them over here. I'm liking that. Now, a blue flower, that is my kind of flower right there. So I've been making my way through here. 
And I'm not seeing too much. There's the swamp from the other area we were at. I mean, and I am just flying through this area with this horse. It's just this horse is absolutely flying. Um, it is so nice to get a horse. Getting that early game loot like that was just beautiful. Getting a saddle. And we still have caves to explore. I can't wait to do more cave exploring with you guys. Because, um, I mean, we still have... There's got to be an abandoned mine carts in there. And things like that in the abandoned mine shaft. There's got to be. I wonder what a village would look like in this biome. This is a very pretty biome, by the way. The, like a nice forest. Oh, speaking of <laughs> speaking of villages, I just found one. <laughs> At least I think it's a village. It could be something else. There's also wolves. Nice. We don't have any bones on us, do we? That'd be nice to gather some dogs as well. Look at this. Oh, it switches to like a birch forest. All right. As long as we keep his head above water, it should be fine. Oh, nice. So there are some active villagers here. What do these guys, wonderful guys, have to offer? So he'll give you a short sword with sharpness. So I've been told that there are some villagers that you can trade with, and like I said, they will um, they will trade things with you. And if you break their equipment and place it down. It resets their trade as long as you don't trade with them. So there's a way to get mending pretty early on. Oh, and these are harvestable berries. Ow. That are also thorny. Do those hurt mobs? I wonder if those hurt mobs. I don't know. They're particularly thorny. <laughs> So I'm seeing, wow, that's actually a pretty looking design there. What do you got? You got just a regular ax. You're not offering me much. I will take the potatoes though, and I will take the spruce saplings and all the bread. Very kind of you. I would break those, but I don't know if breaking blocks affect a lot. There's a smoker. Does that actually produce smoke? I got that. What? That's super cool if that's the case. I need to watch out. I might lose my horse if I'm not careful. I have no idea where my horse went. This place is phenomenal looking though. I love these new villages. I am just absolutely amazed. Oh, wow. Look at that. And we have horse armor. We've got to find her horse now. We have got to find her horse. So this is why I want to go see these villages. Look at this. Armor stands? With armor already on it. What? That's the first time I've seen that. Okay, so here's why I brought shears. If we grab these double tall flowers, we can actually use those and bone mill those later on. Ow. I might actually harvest some of you. Can I? Oh, I can't harvest them. You can't move them. Oh, man. Oh, there's our horse. Okay, so let's put the horse armor on. Golden... Horse armor. Wow, is he swagging. That is awesome looking. They also changed the way the horse armor looks. Man, we are just hitting every aspect of this. So here's the saw. So this thing has some really interesting uses. Um, I think, can we put pumpkin in here? No, we can't. But we can put like stone and things like that in there. Hmm. I don't have a good example of that just yet. Let's take this. See where we can go. Um, so yeah, there are some villagers, like I said. Um, if you find them near their outpost, there's a chance that you can change their uh, their enchants. I really want to test that. It's something we're gonna have to do later on is test those enchants. 
My question is, if you step on the fire, does it hurt you? Oh, it does. How cool is that? We gotta figure out how to make these campfires. I really want them. I don't want to break the ones in the village. And plus, I also want to find out how to make a blast furnace, because apparently the blast furnace smells certain things faster. I'm sure you guys are going to let me know all about that and spoil everything for me in the comments. Um, but that's okay. That's what you guys are here for. I like to learn with you guys. You guys know how it goes. This is a rather large village. I feel like we've already been over here. Very large. Oh, this one actually has a farmer. Wh who is this guy? The librarian. This one has blast protection. That's a pretty nice enchant. Um, Really nice enchant. Look at these. These are beautiful. The way these are set up. So he did get potatoes. Are any of these carrots? This looks like potatoes as well. And then this is something that's not even grown yet. Hmm. We have not been in here. That's the lectern. Okay, so is it if we... Okay, so we've just seen he had blast protection. If we pick this up and we place that back down, does that reset this guy's trades? That might have been fixed... Okay, so that doesn't affect this one. But I've been told other things affect the other ones. But like I said, it's always worth it a try. There's our horse. <laughs> I don't know. I think I've seen enough. I think this looks really good. Let's grab this guy. These are really nice. And I think we're going to head back after... Oh, emerald. More spruce sapling and more potatoes. I will take those. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and head back. I was hoping to find some, like, rose bushes. Because getting some red dye and getting a lot of it is really, really handy. Alright, let's get out of these leaves. I think it's time for us to head back to the base. Oh, maybe not. Maybe after one more check of the villager. And that is, wheat gives you emeralds and potatoes give you emeralds. And then I want to test the ringing of the bell. He is going to the... What? Let's defend this village. I don't know. They're all going crazy. Are they trying to go to their beds? I think so. This one's going inside. I did ring the bell. I don't know. They're all stuck in the wishing well. And my horse is leaving me. My horse does not like me anymore. All right, let's get, let's get out of here. We need to come up with a name for this horse. What do you guys want to name this horse? I'm afraid I might lose it, though, eventually, which would be very sad to lose our first horse. Um, do you notice the texture right there on the, the, the horse is kind of buggy? That's kind of weird. The horse texture is kind of weird right there. All right, so I'm going to head back. It is getting dark. Ow. It's, I think it's way time to head back. So... I will meet you guys back at the base. So now that we're back, we need to come up with a name for this. Like I said, you guys let me know down in the comments what you want this horse to be called. Take a good look at this horse and uh, just come up with a name. We're going to place this horse in here. This is its new pin for now because it will wander off and we'll go ahead and place that. Now, I don't know, does horses, they don't fit through this little area, but I think they can always jump over, which is always great. I think more or less this is just going to be for looks and also to let me out. So this horse should be perfectly fine in here, should have no issues whatsoever. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is probably move this torch. We'll put a torch back here and we can put a torch on the corners. Nice. Um, so yeah, we have a nice little pin there for our horse. Now if you're poor like me in the game and you don't have access to a silk touch pick, and you can't pick up grass yet. I am working on getting grass to follow down this pathway and end up down here. The reason for that is because we collected those flowers. Remember, we collected those double tall. I, and I ended up finding a rose bush as well. So we have these flowers here. 
which are double tall. I have mul multiples of these, not so much the rose bush. Um, but when you plant this, it's a double tall, right? So what you can do is take some bone meal, which I don't think I have any more of, because I'm pretty sure I spent it all. Yeah, we have a lot of armor. Um, so if you have some bone meal, you can bone meal it, and it will actually give you the dye, or it'll give you more of these flowers, um, which you can use for dye, which is always wonderful. Um, like these give you two dye. So, I mean, having these available, having a lot of dye is always great, especially if you get your red dye. Red dye is a wonderful one to have. So getting getting that rose is perfect. Um, now, if you notice, I do have some bamboo that has grown up here. So if all you have to do is break this down, I'm using this sort of more as a farm. It's also kind of a decoration thing. But when you plant these down, they actually grow pretty fast. And you can actually use... Um, like, I don't know, like, um, you're actually block, make, lock, you can use block breaker machines. I mean, things like that to break these stocks down and then you can collect them with carts and things like that. That is stuff that we will probably do later on down the road. I'm also going to expand this farm. This is kind of a, just a little concept, an idea, um, that I wanted to come up with and just see what it actually looks like. I'm thinking about maybe changing the way this farm, um, is fully set up. I don't know. We'll go with something. I, I want to incorporate it into this whole design. So it may be something that actually integrates into our build here. That is really just a nice little hobbit hole, which it just kind of, you just walk in. It's nice and open. I'm really liking the aesthetics of this. I'm thinking about changing this, by the way, to cobblestone. Um, just to sort of add to what uh, everything that's going on. Actually, I might just kind of change it up here. Why not add this and add some of that and that? Yeah, that kind of just changes up the patterns in the wall. Makes things look more like lively. So yeah, I'm just trying new things. You guys let me know what you think about this whole little base area. I'm really curious to see what you guys, what you guys think. Um, it does this work, you know, but anyways, guys, I do appreciate you guys watching. If you guys haven't already clicked that like button, I highly recommend doing so. And also ringing that notification bell, that really helps out. Also, along with the notification bell, if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? What are you doing? I highly recommend doing so. Um, you will not regret that decision. And also, we have a beautiful Discord. You can find the link down in the description below a beautiful Discord where we have a giant, massive Minecraft community that is always welcoming to newcomers. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.